What's up guys? Piper here, bringing you some flying female human action. I realized today that if you um if you pop something that makes you into a female, for instance this uh, the haunted locket so it makes you like a Nido female, if you pop that and then after you pop it use the party thing, it just turns you into a human female. So I was like, fuck it, I guess I'll be a human female. This guy is gonna come down here, it looks like he's trying to catch up to me. I'm gonna send him the pet and try and disarm him here. Disarm, disarm, disarm. I do get a disarm off and we're out of we're outie, get out of here, no point in staying, see you later, goodbye. Um, but what I want to talk about in this video today is, um, I, I don't often do this, in fact, I don't think I've ever done this, um, and I am going to talk about a product. The reason I want to talk about it is because I made a keybinding slash clicking video, and I mentioned in the video that I use a Razer Naga, and I got a lot of comments immediately, like, I've j the video just went up, and I've already got a lot of comments asking me about Razer products, asking me about Razer Nagas, asking me if it's, like, a prerequisite to being good at WoW. And I just wanted to kind of like, I didn't want to just openly, I, well number one in the video I didn't just openly endorse Razer, but I kind of wanted to s sit down and speak to you guys about like what you need to like consider before just buying any kind of PC gear. One of the main reasons I like uh, PCs, one of the main reasons why I like gaming on PCs is because there's options. You got to remember there's always options. So when like you're looking at buying a mouse, when you're looking at buying anything, Yes, Razer isn't a bad company, I'll get into like more on them later, but you have to keep in mind that there's going to be lots of places to buy lots of things, and you're never going to really have just one option to choose from. It's the same when building a PC, it's the same when getting a keyboard, it's the same when getting a mouse. There's always going to be multiple choices and multiple things you can choose from. So before you just go and like, like it, it went, just because I have a Razer Naga or some shit, don't just go buy a Razer Naga. That's not a thing you should be doing. You know, I'm not, these guys don't, I'm not endorsed by Razer or some shit, they don't pay me, I just happen to have one because I like the mouse. You know, that's, that's all it is. Um, but for you personally, I've seen multiple times, people hate, hate the Razer Nara. Mainly because they've had issues with Razer, the mouse doesn't work, it loses tracking, it, um, all, it's way too big for their hand. It's, it's, a, it's a big mouse, like, you think about it, there's all these buttons on the side of this mouse, there's a lot of buttons on the side of this fucking mouse, and it requires, like, my hand fits it perfectly, and I'm... You know, I'm, I'm a six foot two guy, my hand's fucking huge, my head's fucking huge. I'm just a big dude. And the mouse fits my hand literally perfectly, so it's perfect to me. And I'm super happy with it. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not by the way, I'm not like bashing Razor here. I love their company, I love the mouse. But I just wanted to, like, before you guys just go and start buying things, because I said it, I just wanted to completely just say, hey guys, I, it's not, I'm not just endorsing Razor or some shit. That's not what I'm doing. If you're going to check out something or you're getting into PC gaming or you want to buy something, if you want to like actually look into getting some some ge uh, PC gear, I would definitely recommend looking up like say Steel Series, even just Logitech gear. A lot of the expensive things that are out there are completely unnecessarily so. Like you don't there's a, a, often like a lot of brandage ex expenses for some reason. And I find that often with like for instance Razer headsets. Razer ha has a lot of good headsets. I'm not saying they're bad headsets, but I'm saying for what they are, they're very expensive and they don't need to be as as expensive as they are you can find headsets for cheaper with logitech that's why you'll never see me wearing a razor headset i always just go for the simple logitech g35 headset because this is fairly cheap it's very like not inexpensive for what it is and for what well it's inexpensive for me because I, I depend on audio quality when i'm making these videos um and i think it sounds fine that it's like 7.1 surround sound it's good i like it but Razer does the same sort of headset, and they're flashing, they have like these nice lights and stuff on them, and all that kind of crap. But it's not worth the money for them, because they charge that extra bit. They charge that extra little bit of money. So I just wanted, like, before you, like, you literally just go out and start buying stuff, because I said, you know, go buy it. I wanted to make sure that I, to say to you guys that, hey, you should not do this. And this monk just popped all these CDs on me and caught me in a stun chain. So I'm going to have to CC him here to try and stay alive, if I can. Pick up a CC there, pop down a... A bonnie shot, disengage away, and all we're trying to do now is stay alive. That monk, when I don't have like a deterrence ability because I have the orb, monk uh, CC chains are destructive. I just stayed alive because I had some heals and disengage away. But let's talk about Razor for a second. And Razor is not like it's a, it's a fairly newish company, at least a fairly newish like in the public eye company if that makes sense like i didn't know about razor until maybe four years ago and i just heard about it because like my friend said hey you should look at razor you should get a naga blah 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 and it was about the same time like wow started making mice and i was like oh man i could get a, a wow mouse but i look at razor i got razor i love their shipping boxes i love they, they send them like in these nice boxes with these, these like, stickers and cards and stuff and they're really awesome and i honestly like i like like the razor as a company it's just the prices that sometimes get me down a little bit. Like I feel like they could be cheaper, especially especially since I'm paying shipping 
a lot of times. So, I, honestly, it's sometimes cheaper for me to go to, say, uh, EB Games and buy a piece of Razer hardware off EB than to get it from like the actual Razer website, which is a completely strange. Now, I am using a Razer keyboard as well. Um, it's uh, Black Widow. Now I've had this key I, again. I can't say anything bad about this keyboard. It's loud, obviously. Like if you watch, if you watch any of my videos and I'm typing away doing shit, you're gonna notice that it's pretty loud. It's a mechanical keyboard. Um, you can get mechanical keyboards for cheaper than this, and you can get them that they're, they're less loud. Um, Steel Series makes some good keyboards. Uh, even Logitech has a few keyboards. Um, the, the reason I went with mechanical is simply because it's a better response time, and I actually like the way it sounds. I like that, that kind of responsive sound that it makes. It makes me think that I'm doing something and I'm actively, you know, accomplishing something with every single keystroke. I like it. Obviously, I bought the keyboard before I started, I planned on doing YouTube because if I knew I was going to do YouTube, I would have made it the choice to get a, like, a quieter keyboard for you guys. You wouldn't have to listen to me click every fucking five seconds. But it seems like you guys don't care too much, so I'm complaining about stuff that I doesn't need to complain about. Um, and the keyboard was... Again, the thing you gotta look at when you buy these kind of things for PCs is that they have a large, very large, that guy's probably drinking for no reason, they have a very large and long lifespan. So you gotta think, like, I'm, I might be dropping 150 bucks for something right now, but it's gonna last me two to three years. Like, that's, that's the average, like, for me, every mouse I have lasts about two years, and after that two years, I'll buy pretty much the same mouse, maybe just the new version. So, for instance, like, if my Naga breaks, I would then get, like, the 2014 Naga, or the 2015 Naga, whatever the fuck the next one is. Um, and that's kind of what I've been doing for the last five fucking years. Uh, I've been through, th been five years, I've had two Nagas, I'm on my second right now. Um, and the Black Widow, however, has I've had no problems with this keyboard whatsoever. And if you if you're a gamer, you know like keyboards like they can get pretty fucking like fucked up and disgusting. And you need to frequently clean them sometimes, especially if you're like me. And I often I not only do I play WoW here, but then when I'm editing and stuff, I often bring food in here and I eat while I'm editing and I'm fucking watching videos and stuff. And then fucking food gets on the keyboard because I'm a fucking pig. You have to clean it frequently. And even with all that bullshit that's going on, I fucking spilt a drink in this motherfucker. I spilt like literally. I have like as I always do. I have a drink sitting with me in here always because I just I'm I'm a thirsty motherfucker and I always need a drink. I will be sitting here and I just fucking like happened to like go to pick it up and knocked it over onto the keyboard. It got all fucking in there and then all I did was like tip the keyboard upside down, smack it on the fucking desk and like it just fucking poured out. I fucking I think I got a hair dryer. I blew the fucking blew it off and I was like that's it's good to go. And, like I literally and it has, since then that was like a year ago that happened and it has not it has not faltered once. This keyboard has not faltered. I'm fucking impressed with this keyboard now. I just realized. I went from Razer Naga to Razer fucking Black Widows. I honestly, like, really... Like, I can, like, 100% endorse the, the keyboards they make and, like, the, the fucking Black Widow keyboard. Um, what I can't 100% endorse is their Nagas. Not because I don't like them. I do enjoy them. I love them a lot. And they're perfect for me. I'm not... I'm just saying that, mice, there's so many, like, options out there for you. And you really need to look at, um... And like what's better and what's best suited for you because most likely what what works for me is not 100% going to work for you in any stretch of the imagination especially since like Razer does have a, like a bit of a shitty reputation when it comes to um new products um, often I've had a lot of friends who say Razer has just made a new mouse. They send it out. It works for a few days, loses tracking, stops working, and they. But they're good about it. like obviously if this does happen, you can send it back in and they'll send you a new mouse and all that sort of stuff. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I don't want you guys to think just because I talk about a product I'm endorsing it. Um, often I will tell you if I like something. Like for instance, the Black Widow. I can 100% endorse. I'm just saying if you are looking to buy mouses and you're thinking about it because of the macro video I made. Don't just go out and buy Naga. Look at the mouses, search for those products that suit you better, and find something that's obviously the cheapest and best option you can possibly find. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you next video. See you guys.